And we're back with WSJ Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. Now, women, we get our nails done. We get our hair done. And now we can walk into a beauty bar and get our makeup done. It's not even going to cost that much. Elizabeth Holmes, she is joining us right now. She's been writing about that for the Wall Street Journal. And we've also got Allison Conrad. She's president of Blushington. She's in Los Angeles. And that is one of the makeup bars that, uh, that offers these new services. Elizabeth, I want to start with you. So what is driving this trend of, uh, I mean, we're sort of like outsourcing all of our beauty now, it seems like. Yes. Yeah, so this kind of comes on the heel of blowout bars, which I wrote about a year ago, where you walk in and you get your hair done and it's a flat fee and you're in and you're out and you look great and you leave. Makeup bars are aiming to sort of do that to your face. So you have this option to go in and pay about $40 on average and have your makeup done for either a special occasion or for a big business meeting or something like that. And so it's sort of a moment of pampering, but it's also practical in this age when everybody has a camera and social media is everywhere and you're always having your picture taken. That is such a good point. The social Everybody's taking your picture any and everywhere. Allison, let me ask you this. So describe a little bit about the type of clientele who you see coming into the Blushington uh, makeup bar I mean, what, 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 what are they like? What's the age range? Sure. So we see ages from um, literally under 10 years old, which is our sweet pea menu, to upwards of 90 years old. So we see the, it runs the whole gamut. But, you know, our traditional core customer is really women in their late 20s, 30s, 40s, working women, um, women who have events to go to and, and are very active. And how long do they spend in there typically? So typically the appointment runs around 30 minutes is what we try to try to get them in and out in. It, it sometimes runs 45 minutes if it takes a little bit longer. So we say 30 to 45 minutes. 30 to 45 minutes. Elizabeth, I sort of remember the days like we uh, you go into the department store, right? And if yes. you wanted, it was a special occasion. You thought, oh, I just need to get my makeup done. You'd slip in there, sit down. They'd do it. But there's always that onus like to buy something, right? Yes, it's sort of a Friday night ritual, especially here in Manhattan. You go and you have your makeup done and then you're like, what is the most, you know, minimal amount of product <laughs> that I can buy that I cannot feel, you know, that I can feel like this is a transaction here. And I have to say, so these beauty bars are offering a no pressure environment. They're offering this alternative where you don't necessarily have to buy product at all. And I think that's, um, you know, I mean, the department stores have made a big business on, you know, having these cosmetic counters, doing these kind of services. And you don't actually have to buy something. You right. know, they all say it's complimentary. It's yeah. part of the customer service. But you feel bad. But you do. And yeah. you sort of, and also then you're dealing with the latest and greatest products. The color palettes might not be, you know, the best for you. So if yeah. you go into a beauty bar, you're getting service that's specifically for your skin type and your looks and whatever you want to sort of, the future you want to accentuate. And they're not trying to upsell you, although I guess you probably no. can buy the makeup sometimes. A lot yeah. of them do sell makeup, yes. Allison, so how do you uh, keep people coming back? I mean, like, uh, you know, for instance, if they learn to do their makeup so well from the experts there, they might be able to do it at home. How do you make the environment there compelling? I mean, do you ever serve wine or do you have add-ons like, like eyelashes and things like that that people can do that they might not try at home? Yes, exactly. So we do offer complimentary champagne. Um, the decor is amazing. It's really relaxing and fun. So it gets people, you know, excited to come into the space. We also offer memberships in series. So you can really get the price down to about $20. So it makes it affordable to keep coming in and out. Um, and, you know, it's it's just an experience to get your, done prof your makeup done professionally. It's so much different than if you do it yourself at home. And just to be clear, when they do get their makeup applications, there's no lesson involved, you know. So they're just picking out colors and, and applying them on the customer but we do offer lessons so that's a separate um, service but we also offer bow lashes that you can add on and get those we do waxing we do tinting you know so there's a lot of other right. services that you can get besides makeup and elizabeth very quickly where is this most popular in the country it's in places with really vibrant social scenes so places where people have an excuse to sort of get dressed up and go out a lot so la is obviously a natural for it there i've talked to some folks in atlanta some folks in new orleans so anywhere where there's sort of this vibrant social scene